spending money on content creation but not sure you're getting the bang for the buck? Creating content that people want to engage with isn't easy. You spend a lot of time on product and service messaging, getting the words and the graphics just right. But did you know that your content assets, white papers, videos, case study, actually deliver a user experience? To make sure you're delivering a good one, here are three tips that will increase consumption and pass along value of your content. One, no content asset should be an island. After I've consumed it, what should I do next? Each piece of content should be connected to other relevant assets and provide a path of information that mirrors the buyer's journey. Make sure that there are active links that point me there. Second, interact with me or else. If you believe that I will really read your 20-page white paper, I have some bad news. Not. So think about including in the asset a link to a quick live poll and immediately deliver the collective results. Or provide an interactive checklist that compares key attributes of the offering with potential competitors. Give me something to do other than just skimming the content and moving on. And third, one size fits all, fits no one. Tailor the content to the specific role and title you are trying to reach. Any content asset that tries to include every person on the buying team will be either generic, confusing, or complicated. If it isn't clear that the content is targeted to me, I'm moving on. Consider creating a specific version for key roles such as business, technical, and financial decision makers.